Hey you, this is Jasim from CodeBand and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you three things that many of the Django developers are not aware of. So if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel and click the bell icon near to it. So without any further, let's jump right into it. All right, guys, so the number one is the base view class. Now, you might be familiar with the class-based views in Django. You might have used the, the create view, the update, delete views and all, but you might not be familiar with the base view class. Now, uh, this one is nothing but the parent class, which is inherited by all those uh, create view, update view, and all those generic classes. Now, this is very useful in case where, you, where your logic doesn't contain to a particular uh, system like uh, creating an object or updating an object and all. Your logic is just general in case. So for example, uh, I have a view called, um, let me say it as a base view. So in, in case of a function view, we'll be doing something like this one. Now we'll check if the request dot method is equal to uh, post or get or similar now uh, in if the logic is in that fashion now instead of doing uh, these type of things all you can do is you can write a class based the uh, class based view which inherits from the base view class which means let me say this um, the class name to be base view which inherits from this view now this view is nothing but from django dot views import view so this is the base view now in here you can actually do the method names that is accepted by your uh, this particular view so you can write like def get which will uh, receive the request and uh, args quarks etc so this one is actually the get method the method will be dispatched to you automatically by this inherent view class so at the get request it will come to this get method here so you can write your own logic here now you can use the same concept uh, same method here but with the exception of changing the name. If it is post request, then you can write the logic here. Now all of the uh, kind of dispatching the method will be done by this view class itself. So in, in that way you can use put or patch or delete any methods of your kind. Now this is very useful in case where, where your logic is somewhat general in nature. So that, that's the first one to note. Now the second one is uh, the for empty close. Now uh, you might be familiar with this one where you check for the athlete list or a list or an array of items so if that is present then you look through that and you'll just print those things there now if there is no items in that array or list then you'll print sorry uh, something like this one now instead of doing all these logic you can do something like this one there is something called an empty clause in the inside the for loop here so if the athlete list in this case is empty it will actually go to this one this clause and it will just print so that's very handy you, you don't have to actually write these if else statements so that's the number two tip now the next one is the kind of django debug toolbar so uh, this one gives you a very great insight on what your application is at the present state so you get information about your settings headers requests and this one is the most important one the sql now it'll give you uh, some some uh, queries that are executed behind the scenes so actually it'll give you the number of queries and the time it takes to process or execute that query so this is very handy in case you want to actually see what all things going on behind and you know, if you want to you uh, uh, make your application more performant oriented then you can uh, of course um, uh, it'll, it'll give you a great insight on that as well now it has a couple of other options such as templates static files and uh, much more other things there so um, this is their official documentation now all of the links uh, uh, I'll put in the description section the base view the template here the template tag then the debug toolbar and all I'll put in the description section so these are the three things that I have to convey that many of the developers may not be aware of so 
that's about this video i hope you understood the uh, concepts and uh, if you like the video please hit the thumbs up button and um, if you haven't subscribed my channel yet please do subscribe my channel and click the bell icon near to it so thank you for watching we'll see you in the very next one